Maidenhead United visit Kingfield today with Woking in desperate need of all three points. Gary Hill makes one change to the starting lineup as Mike Sester is suspended. In comes Joe McNerney alongside Alan Innes with Adam Doyle moving to left back. The visitors inflicted the car's worst defeat of the season on them in the FA Cup when they won 4-1. Can they come away with a win today? And we are underway here. Dartford have closed the gap on Woking. <laughs> Kieran Murta over this early free kick for Woking. He will look for the run of Alan into the back post. who have gone ahead of Jermaine Hines. They couldn't divert it on target. <laughs> Oh, Paris Cowan Hall with the effort, an ambitious one. And it was always rising. John McNerney with his scuff clearance, and it will come to Alex Wall, or find Ashen Holgate, who volleys at goal. Deflected behind by Alan Innes. Harry Pritchard will drill in the corner, Holgate is up there. Newton with the ball out to this right hand flank where Moses Andy Muller will take control of it and he'll swing it into Paris Cowan Hall and what a chance that was Cowan Hall with a header Doyle in the challenge here's Andy Muller playing the ball into Wayne Gray who will knock it off to Cowan Hall and it could come to Murta didn't quite get hold of the shot and for his first working goal since returning on loan. Here he is again. Now Newton. Into Gray. Gray trying to pull it back. Could come to Andy Mola. He dinks it in towards Kevin Betsy. He's had a low. Always trickling wide. Lennox with the goal kick. McNerney with the header. Andy Mola with the ball over the top. Looking for Paris. Cowan Hall. Cowan Hall is onto it. He goes down. And the referee is. What's he given here? Is it a penalty? I think it is. Furious process from Maidenhead suggest it was outside. Now there's a yellow card for someone in there and someone else. Well, what's going on here? And has the goalkeeper been given a yellow card there? Lennox would have thought maybe lucky to stay on the pitch here. He's been given a yellow card. Well, what drama here. And Jack King will step up to take this penalty. He missed against Staines not so long ago, and the goalkeeper saved it here. Lennox dived to his left and parried the effort. King fails from the spot in the second time running. Pritchard with the corner, Aaron Howe didn't quite get there. The header goes wide. Go on. Cowan Hall will find Adam Doyle on the run. <laughs> Betsy's there. Doyle will find him. It's Kevin Betsy. Oh, it was towards Cowan Hall. Good defending from the visitors. Betsy will take it quickly to Murta. Back to Betsy. Back to Murta. Good play. Can Murta pick someone out? It will come back to Kevin Betsy. So unlucky from Betsy. Doyle with the ball into Betsy. Desperately looking for that elusive goal at the moment. It's back to Doyle. It's Adam Doyle who pulls it back. It's half away. It could come to Murta, I think. That's what they call it. Looking with the ball forward. It's Cowan Hall. Ball by Andy Mola. Looking for Saul, the substitute. It's Giuseppe Saul. Oh, it's into the side netting. What an opportunity. He did the hard part right. He made the run beautifully. He got in ahead of Lennox. He just couldn't quite find the target. Murta with the corner. Inns was looking again on the end of it. It will come out to King. It's Jack King with the effort. Good save from Lennox. It could come out to Andy Mona. And now it's Paris Cowan Hall. Oh, he's off the post. Chances are plenty. But Woking just can't get the ball in the back of the net. Paris Cowan Hall agonisingly close with the goalkeeper on the floor. Play continuing and an excellent work from Daniel Brown, the substitute for Maidenhead. Knocked into Martel Power, now Wall will play the ball on. What an opportunity this is, McNerney's trying to get back, in comes the effort! And it goes agonisingly wide of the far post. What a moment that was in the match, chances at either end. Is Betsy. Comes off Seoul. Comes to Kieran Marta. And 
That's not going to trouble Lennox. It's not. Oh, and a good effort coming, flying in from Daniel Brown. A little bit of an impact, the substitute. Martel Powell with the ball over the top. I think that's substitute Charlie Strutton looking for it, getting out of his. Oh, and the referee's given a penalty. Well, I'm not sure I can quite believe that. It looked like uh, tangled it in, grab him there. He goes down there. Oh, I tell you what, that's that's a booking for Inns as well. And what a chance this is for Bobby Vizzadi to step up and take the penalty and score the penalty. And Maidenhead United lead it. Vizzadi was on trial at Woking a few years ago, I seem to recall. And he made no mistake there. And with just under 20 minutes left, Maidenhead had the lead. Doyle finds Betsy. Betsy cutting inside, half headed away, could come to Sol. But he never got hold of the effort. Lennox will take the goal kick. Flicked on by Hines in there and it will be knocked on by Wall. And there was Strutton with it and then Wall and it's back to Charlie Strutton! And Maiden had have a second. And in what seems like a, just a moment of minutes, this game has turned on its head. Woking were just looking for that elusive winner, it seemed, at one point. And now they find themselves two goals behind. Substitute Charlie Strutton. Betsy trying to get it in. Come time to Cowan Hall. It's Paris Cowan Hall. It's into the arms of Lennox. Substitute Dale Bins with the ball forward. And uh, Sol will get the flick and it's Elvis Hammond. Fell to him and he just couldn't get his volley on target. McNerney. Oh, McNerney losing out to Strutton. He's done it excellently. It's coming on and his shot doesn't beat Aaron Howe this time. McNerney with the header. Bins with the flick. Oh, I think looking for the ball in the channel, but Doyle will pick it up. And what's the referee spotted here? Oh, the, ref the referee's shown the red card to Dale Bins. Well, I can only assume this is something we haven't seen. The referee is suggesting he made a lash-out kick at Martel Powell, I think. Was that it there? I'm not sure. Oh, drama here as the corner comes in. Maidenhead getting it to clear. Could come back to Sol. Nerny with the ball forward, looking for Hammond, who will take it down. And it's Elvis Hammond. Well, Woking not giving up here. Murta with the corner. Inns at the back post looking for it. And it just wouldn't come down for him. Hammond with the throw. Here's Betsy. Back to Hammond. And Betsy again. Kevin Betsy with the cross. Sol is up there. I think he was up there with an arm as well. And he may well get a yellow card for that. Here comes the corner. Oh, was that Nani up there? Could come to Doyle. Adam Doyle with the cross. Giuseppe Sol with the head. Oh, and it's straight into the arms of Lennox. And that really is a summary of Woking's day. Sol with the effort. And that's not going to trouble anyone. And the final whistle goes, and Woking have been defeated here. And Dartford closed the gap with a win in their match. It's now just six points, and Dartford have a game in hand. Come along to Kingfield on Tuesday when they take on Carl Shorten Athletic in the Surrey Senior Cup semi final. Kickoff is 7.45.